I'm good. How are you? I'm even better now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Every time we mention new kids on the block, she hyperventilates, Joey. That's awesome. <laughs> I know it's bad. I just can't help myself, though. Well, I'm, I'm right there with you. Now, you guys have a <laughs> bunch of new stuff going on, which we're going to talk about in a second. But let's go back a few. Now, you were young when all this started a few years ago. You were the baby in the group. Yeah. And, I mean, what was it like living through that? Because it wasn't – New Kids wasn't a band. It was a phenomenon. I mean, bed sheets, yeah. buttons, everything. You know, it, 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 it always seems bigger from the outside, definitely. I mean, you know, so, you know, thank God. And, you you, you, you know, you just you can't relate your life and, and who you are and your importance on the fact that, you know, your face is on a button and a T-shirt and all that stuff. I mean, um, it was crazy. I mean, it was exhausting at a certain part, and it's not, it's not your normal teenage life, you know. And, and, you know, there are sacrifices, but, you know, in the end, you know, we had good families, and I think coming from Boston, a town where you can't really get too big for your britches, you know, kept it kept it all in perspective for us. And, and uh, you know, luckily we, we came out of it. It definitely took literally years to unwind from it and figure out what you wanted to do with the rest of your life. And, you know, but uh, luckily, you know, we're here and we're, you know, it, it obviously speaks to the fact that, you know, it was overall a good experience for us, and, and we all, the fact that we can even still get along is is, is a <laughs> gift. So it, it's cool to be back. Now, when it all ended, Donnie kind of went the acting route. Of course, Danny did the producing thing. John did the real estate thing. And you and Jordan just really kind of stayed in the whole music business. Yeah. And, did, yeah, and then, of course. I, you know, I've done, since New Kids, I've been, I've been blessed with great opportunities. I mean. I've been on Broadway, and I did, you know, a TV show for, for a, a year, and I've done, you know, a couple of movies that I'm, you know, really proud of. And, you know, so I'm, and, and, and then my, you know, music has always been a threat, and, and uh, I've been lucky enough to, you know, uh, because of New Kids and that success, kind of call my own shots. And sometimes that's tough because, you know, you have to be your own boss, but at the same time, you know, you get to do creatively what you want to do, and, um, you know, it's been it's been great. You guys tried to reunite before with bands reunited on VH1, and it didn't quite go as well as it did now. What was up with that? No, 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 no. Well, we didn't. They. Uh. They tried to reunite us. <laughs> we didn't try to reunite us. I mean, that show... You know, tried to sabotage us, and you know, actually, my end of that situation was that I was doing a movie, a press junket for a movie, and and they were, I came in and they said, well, the MTV's in that room, but they're not ready for you, so they were setting up. So finally, they're ready. I walk in and they talk for about four, five minutes about my music and the movie and this and that, and all of a sudden, well, we're actually not here for that. We're actually with Bands Reunited and blah blah. blah. We think you guys should get together and oh you know oh yeah i mean it, it was it was laughable i mean over the years you know people have come to us with all different kinds of ideas to get back together and you know if we were going to do it it was going to be on our terms and we had to feel you know amazing about it and and feel good about it and fans reunited is they're trying to make a tv show you know what i mean right and it, unfortunately you know give us a little credit right we'll get you in a room together and then a day later, we'll, we'll put you in front of your fans. It's like, buddy, first of all, the producer is a 30-year-old guy, you right. know what I mean, or whatever. Like, so he, he, maybe he doesn't have <laughs> the real connection that, that some of us did. And I took him to task. I mean, if you watch that TV show, come on, man. You know what I mean? Like, we've heard it before. If we're going to do it, it's going to be the right situation. It, it was never on our terms. And if it was going to happen, it was going to happen on our terms. And... And this is the result of it. You know, I think we've done it right, and, and we've done it, you know, in a way that we're proud of, and it's really all about the fans. And, and You guys have, uh, you see, you're hearing a lot of old school new kids now because people are breaking out the old songs. Did you ever yeah. think that you'd hear the right stuff on the radio again? Um, that's great. I mean, it's... it's Heck, yes it is. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's all, we definitely, you know, embrace the past, and when we do these this tour, it's, it's going to be fun to go back and, and, and play hit. Hits are a good thing. Don't forget the concert is on sale this morning at 10 a.m. to see new kids on the 25th of October at the Palace.